My name is Joanna Quin Lopez and I'm an artist based in New Mexico. I'm born and raised here in Albuquerque and I work with large-scale installation, oftentimes with Adobe architecture or paper, natural dyes, um, thinking about place, land, land use, traditional practices. This installation, Lopez Vel Socorro, is about it's about a lot of things. It's very um, archival, it's very research-based. Uh, it is um, mainly about where my family comes from on my father's side. Um, my father, Damasio Lopez, gave me recently uh, a little adobe home that is a part of Lopezville, which is an old Spanish land grant. And a big aspect about this installation that I'm trying to think about land use and also pollution and contamination of land. So my father, uh, Damasio, worked as an activist against depleted uranium most of his life and there are documents that I have that are a part of this installation that talk about the depleted uranium um, ballistics uh, investigation testing that happened with the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology, mainly from what I have from the 70s and 80s. And so there was a lot of radioactive material testing happening there in the Socorro Mountain, which is actually just right behind my, my ancestral family land, right in that area. It's something that people don't like to talk about so much about New Mexico, that there has been a lot of radioactive contamination testing that has happened. And um, so I actually brought in a big pile of dirt that's from Lopezville. In the dirt is a lot of shards of just remnants from multiple generations of my Lopez family in the land, including liquor bottles and like broken glass, uh, old cans, broken shards of pottery, uh, bed, bed springs. <laughs> um, you name it, like it's a big burn pile out there. Um, and so in this installation, I brought some of those remnants to think about memory that is inland. Um, so including barbed wire or different even plants that are from out there, like Hedionthia, which is creosote, which is also a uh, medicinal plant um, that treats a lot of things as well as toxins, um, getting toxins out of your body which is really interesting that it grows so uh, prevalently in that area. I also included a small piece of, of an adobe wall that's from my great-grandfather Avelino's house. And on it is um, calcimine paint. It's in, like an old type of paint that, um, that is like a chalk type of paint. So you can see varying layers of, of this paint over like a hundred years from different family members. I also um, included a map that shows the original Puro Pueblo uh, of Tepana and Pilabo that were the um, original inhabitants of Socorro. So it was act Socorro was actually a, a Pueblo. Um, I wanted to also bring in that, the importance of the multi-complex um, cultural layers of inhabitants who have been in this area of, of Socorro. Um, it's very complex. I wasn't sure how how the adobes would would um, would hold up when we made them, but I figured that you know my great great grandparents had made these these adobes homes at, from the dirt just in that area. So we just went ahead and brought them here and and uh, experimented for the first time for my life. And they make amazing adobes. These are these are really strong ones.